Hey guys, so for any of you that have been going to Costco or at least checking out Costco's hearing aids, you probably noticed that their best selling hearing aid, the KS10, just disappeared. And there is a bunch of speculation as to why. Why did it disappear? Did something happen? Did they just decide to go a separate way? Well, I will tell you exactly what happened. Would you guys like to know? Let's go talk about it. So Costco has been selling top of the line premium technology hearing aids for years now. And nobody's been really talking about what brands they really are. Are they good brands? Are they cheap hearing aids? Like what's going on? Who actually makes these hearing aids? And why are they so cheap? And yes, don't you worry. There will be a video later on talking about all this stuff in great detail. Are the Costco hearing aids really worth it? You know, etc. Short answer is yes, absolutely. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about just one of those manufacturers. The company who made the KS10, Costco's flagship in-house brand, the Kirkland 10. So who makes the KS10? That would be Sonova. They manufacture and make some of the best hearing aids on the market. They make the Phonak hearing aids, which is exactly what the KS9 and the KS10 was. And when Costco was selling the KS9s, that's pretty much all they sold. And the KS9s were amazing hearing aids. When it came to performance, cost, um, you know, how well they did with the REM verification and hitting all your prescriptive targets, they just, they really just couldn't be beat. And then came the KS10. So whenever Costco sells a Kirkland product, um, whether it's a hearing aid or a pack of batteries, the real brand behind the Kirkland product is always a super premium, really, really high quality product. Like for example, the batteries are Duracell batteries. Um, the Kirkland diapers are Huggies diapers. Well, the same is true for the hearing aids. They were premium technology Phonak hearing aids for just 1400 bucks. And again, that's the way it is with Kirkland. It's always a really good product at a really, really low price. And just like the KS9s, when Costco was selling the KS10s, the Rexton hearing aids, the Jabra, the Philips, they pretty much didn't even exist. They were there, you can choose them, but nobody ever did because the KS10s provided everything that people needed. And again, they were at $1,400, which is crazy for a premium technology hearing aid. People loved them. The sound quality was amazing, just like the Philips hearing aids. The app was full of features. The fitting software that we used to program had so many awesome features and so many different options for us as hearing aid fitters. These hearing aids literally were second to none. We sold so many of the KS10s that we actually carried these hearing aids in stock. So you can come in and get the hearing aids pretty much you know, right away. So you're probably wondering, well, what the heck happened? What happened was charging issues, unfortunately. And that is literally the only thing that was wrong with these hearing aids is the charging. We got so many returns and refunds and exchanges. We sent them back for repair replacement that it, I mean, it was overwhelming. I would say like over 60% of the KS10s we sold came back with charging issues. Sometimes it was the charger that was at fault. Sometimes it was the hearing aid. Sometimes it was both. It was crazy. And to this day, we're actually still dealing with KS10s that are out there that people are just finding out have issues. And I believe there was actually an email sent out to all the patients that had these KS10s that could be defective. So this is how they're supposed to charge. Um, when they're low on battery, or let's say they're just dead, you put them on the charger and there's a little light on the hearing aid. And if it was dead or really low, it'd be like reddish or orange, sometimes just completely red if it was completely dead. You put it on the charger and slowly over time, as the hearing aid starts charging, that color will change from that red to an orange to a yellow um, to eventually a green color. And once it was green, that meant it was fully charged. And people were just bringing them in because of these charging issues. What would happen is either the hearing aid would just stay red, no matter how long you put it on the charger, it would just stay red and it would never change color at all. Or they would put them on the charger at night and in the morning it would show that they're fully charged, but they take it out and the hearing aid is dead or it won't even turn on. Sometimes in the morning it would show that it was charged and they would take the hearing aid out and um, the hearing aid might last like an hour or two. 
And then other people, they would get no lights at all. They would put on the charger and you know, there would be no red, no green, nothing. Like it wasn't even connecting to the charger. Sometimes only one side of the charger would work, like the right side would work, but the left side wouldn't. And if they swapped hearing aids, the left side still wouldn't work and only the right side was charging. Or it would not be the charger at all and just one of the hearing aids would charge and the other would just stay dead. And then probably one of the most common issues that we'd get is the hearing aid would revert back to the stock mode where it would just not charge, it wouldn't turn on, it was like in a dormant mode. And to get it to actually turn on and respond when it was put on the charger, you'd have to hold the volume down button for like 30 seconds and that would reset the hearing aid and take it out of stock mode. And that would happen consistently. They'd bring it in, we'd say, oh yeah, we just have to you know, reset the hearing aid. We'd reset it, everything was great, then the person would bring the hearing aid back after a couple days and it did it again and again until finally we decided okay this is another one of those defective hearing aids so after like a good probably like i said before 60 maybe 70 percent of these ks10s were coming back because of these issues costco finally said okay you know what um, we can't sell these right now they're pretty much defective and and for anybody that knows Costco they will not sell or carry a defective product or a product that wasn't performing so they didn't just cut ties completely they said okay guys we got a memo we're gonna have to pull these off the shelves temporarily until Sonova fixes the issue and lets us know okay we've tracked down the issue these are the hearing aids that were defective and going forward all the hearing aids are gonna be working just fine so after a couple weeks went by um, we weren't selling any of the KS10s. We never got that memo. Instead, and this is where things get kind of cloudy, we got notified that we're not gonna sell them anymore. We're done. We're done with the Kirkland 10 hearing aids. We're done with Sonova. We're not gonna carry those hearing aids any longer. It was just like, boom ties were cut it was crazy but that's what happened and that's why we no longer sell and will not continue selling the ks10s or sonova hearing aids period so unfortunately we're not going to see any more sonova products at all we're not going to have the ks10s they're not coming back the brand's not coming back and this is actually terrible news because we loved the ks9s and the ks10s they were such a great hearing aid and they still are everybody loved their ks9s and ks10s uh, we as fitters love fitting them the REM was a breeze to get through. Programming them was great. Like I said before, there were so many options and the people were happy. They loved their Kirkland hearing aids. And I mean it when I say that Phonak hearing aids are some of the best hearing aids you can get. The fact that you were able to get a premium technology level hearing aid, basically the same thing or the equivalent to the flagship premium level Phonak Paradise hearing aid at Costco for just $1,400 was insane and now you can't get them it's it really truly is a shame so i'll tell you what if you have a ks9 or a working ks10 hold on to that hearing aid and don't be so quick to upgrade it or buy a new hearing aid you have a very expensive very high quality hearing aid at a fraction of the cost that you can get it uh, somewhere that sells phonak hearing aids and all of us at costco we're definitely going to miss these hearing aids but there's a silver lining to all this. The great news is that these events led to the price reduction. They reduced the prices of all three other hearing aids. And um, it's also forced us as fitters to try out and fit the other hearing aids, the Philips, the Rexton's, the Jabra's. And at our location, the Philips and the Jabra's have been doing really, really well, and they truly do have a lot to offer. And in another video, I promise, um, we're gonna talk about the Rexton hearing aids. I'm gonna do a full review on the Rexton hearing aids. Uh, I will talk about the things I like about them. And as you guys all well know, I'll talk about the things I don't like about them. But remember, I do have a full-time job. I have kids that all want daddy's attention. So it's gonna take me a little bit to get that review done because I'm gonna do a full review of the Rexton. But for now, if you guys wanna check out reviews on the Jabra and the Philips hearing aids, they're right here, check them out. And if you guys got anything out of this video and enjoy these videos, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment if you guys have any questions and don't forget, subscribe to the channel so that you can get more hearing club videos. All right, thank you so much for giving me your guys' time. I will catch you guys in the next video. Let's get hearing.